We're going to be looking at a couple of different navigational patterns that we can use when we're building responsively. This is what our page looks like so far and we don't have any CSS uh, as far as styling the navigation in here yet so we'll be building that together. This page is similar to other pages that we've been building. I'll show you the code really quickly just so you're familiar with the page. The HTML is pretty straightforward. We have a section tag that wraps around everything on the page. Within that section tag there is a header which has the image and the headline. There is a nav tag which is new and it simply contains an unordered list with list items that contain links. Then we have the aside that we've been using in other examples. And then we have an article tag which has an H2 and some paragraphs followed by article tags with the featured class assigned to them. And those particular article tags create these boxes that contain information about the sharks. So that is the beginning portion of our page. We're going to look at the CSS quickly. The CSS is similar to other files that we've been working on, so I'm not going to spend very much time on that. All of these rules right here just style the overall basic HTML elements and tags that we're using. There's a rule for the article with the featured class that just has a border, sets padding, sets some margin settings. On the media queries, I just have some basic rules. I have here the rules for the featured article and I set the width to 44% at full screen. This is so that the articles will create this two column layout right here. And on the nth child odd of the featured articles, I'm assigning a right margin of 3%. And that is simply to create some spacing between the right and the left articles. All right, let's start working on our navigation. I already have some comments in my code in the location where I'm going to place my navigation, so I'll be placing the navigation code here. And what we're going to be building here is we're just going to build a really simple top nav approach, which is just going to contain our top navigation. It'll work responsively, but it's not going to have any special formatting. I'm going to begin by assigning a rule for the dot navigation class and if we look at our unordered list that makes up the navigation you can see that I have a class assigned of navigation on the nav tag. So all we're going to be doing here is just setting a background color and the background color that we're going to be using is DEDED. -E -E that just creates a light gray right there. Then I'm going to create a rule for navigation UL and we are going to remove the bullets by setting the list style type to none and we'll set margin and padding to zero. Then we're going to make a rule for navigation li and on the list items we are going to tell them to display as inline block which will allow them to display side by side and I'm simply going to set margin on the top and bottom of zero and on the right and the left of 0.5 m's. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is make a rule for navigation LIA and what we'll do for the links is we'll have them display as block level. This will just make them a little bit easier to hit when you click on them and I'm going to set some padding of 0.5 m's all the way around. So if we save our page and go look at it in the browser you can see that now we have a navigation bar right here. And if I start to resize the page, we'll hit our breakpoints that we've already established for the page. And then at a certain point when the navigation can no longer sit on one line, it's just going to simply wrap to multiple lines. So this is really the simplest method of creating navigation. It's super easy to implement. There's no special CSS. We actually didn't add any CSS into the media queries at all. So this would have maximum compatibility across the board. It works well. The downside is that it's not really all that pretty. 
this is what it looks like. So there's no real alignment. It's not following standard rules of design. It just doesn't look that polished, but it does function quite well. So this is just a simple example of something that you can do quick and easily, and it is, in essence, responsive navigation. We'll be looking at some ways that we can build upon this to make this page look a little bit more visually pleasing and those are going to come up next.